In this video, I am going to discuss about different theoretical perspectives on learning and get acquainted with psychological principles and techniques to facilitate learning. Learning is said to occur whenever one adopts a new behavior, pattern or attitudes. Psychologists have observed different learning situations and studied the nature of learning process. As learning is a complex phenomenon, different people view it differently, giving importance to one or the other aspects of learning process. Thus, psychologists hold different view on the incentric and basic nature of learning process and each set of views attempting to explain learning process is came to be known as theory of learning. Every theory of learning attempts to explain the following six basic questions pertaining to learning. What is learning or how one learns? What are the reasons for individual difference in learning? How one remembers and how one forgets? What is the role of practice and understanding in learning? How learning in one area is transferred to other areas? What are the ways of motivating people to learn? Every learning theory should have these following characteristics. It should specify the experience which effectively implant a predisposition towards learning in the learner. It should necessarily convert the gained knowledge into rule for thinking about the world and oneself. It should specify the ways how your knowledge can be structured so that it can be easily understood by the learners. It should specify all the consequences of material to be learned. It should also specify the nature and procedure of reward and punishment in the process of learning. Based on the characteristics of learning, all the theories are classified under broad perspectives. Behaviorism Stimulus response without reinforcement and stimulus response with reinforcement theories. Cognitivism as field and information processing theories. Humanist theories, social learning theory, constructivism theory. Constructivism theory is again classified into cognitive constructivism and social constructivism. Behaviorist perspectives of learning theory. Behavior theories define learning as nothing more than the association of new behavior. They focus on objectively observable behaviors. Stimulus response without reinforcement theories. Ivan Pavlov's classical conditioning theory, J.B. Watson's classical conditioning theory, E.R. Guthrie's continuous conditioning theory are few examples of it. Stimulus response theories with reinforcement. E.K. Thorndike's trial and error learning. C.L. Hull Systematic or Mathematical Deduction Theory, B.F. Skinner Operant Conditioning Theory. Cognitive Perspectives of Learning Theories Cognitive theorists consider human mind like a computer. They believe it receives messages, processes the, by the brain and delivers the output as a behavioral response. Under this category, we have two categories. Cognitive Field Theories and Cognitive Information Processing Theories Cognitive Field Theories W. Kohler's Gestalt Insight Learning Theory Kurt Levin Topological Learning Theory Edward C. Dolman's Science Gestalt Learning Theory Asubal's Theory of Verbal Learning are few examples of Cognitive Field Theories Cognitive Information Processing Theories Atkinson and Sheffield's Structural Model Theory George A. Miller's Information Processing Theory Alan Piver's dual coding theory are both examples of cognitive information processing theories. Humanistic perspectives of learning theory. Humanist theories aims to arrange the learning process in a way to help a child become true to himself by developing him according to his own nature. Roger's experimental learning theory and Abraham Maslow's humanistic learning theory are under this category. Constructivism Perspective of Learning Theory Constructive theories believes learning takes place when the learner combining the prior knowledge and experience with the information being offered takes full ownership by newly constructing the learning in his own brain. Constructive learning theories is of two types. One is Cognitive Constructivism and Social Constructivism. Discovery Learning by Brunner, Piaget's Cognitive Development Theory or Conception of Equilibrium was under the category of Cognitive Constructivism. Vygotsky's Language, Culture, Knowledge Theory comes under Social Constructive Theories perspective. 
social learning theory. People learn through observing the other's behaviors, attitude and outcomes of this behavior is the philosophy of social learning theorist. It combines both the behavioral and cognitive theories and comes with four requirements for learning. Observation, retention, reproduction and motivation. This integrative approach to learning was called social learning theory. Albert Bandura's social learning theory comes under this perspective. What is the need or importance of learning process for teachers? A teacher can adopt learner-centered approach of teaching and strategy in the class only after knowing different theories, approaches and operations. A teacher can use the whole and part learning methods alternately to benefit the poor and the talented students equally in the class. A teacher will bank upon memorization from the very beginning of the teaching. A teacher can keep the maturity level and inborn capacity of the students in the minds of the effective learning. A teacher can provide various experience to students in a such a way that they can identify similarities and differences in objects, situations and concepts. A teacher can know various procedures of remembering and forgetting and he or she can utilize and help the students to transfer the skill and information to daily activities. A teacher can improve the social learning environment of the class by putting various theories and procedures of learning into practice. Students may consult the given reference for further studies. Thank you.